So the final thing you need to do is you need to work the plan. So I've laid out for you what you need to do. You need to focus on sales, you need a high ticket offer, you need a money making plan, you need to make sure that you're taking consistent action so that you have a constant full sales pipeline, you have an actively engaged audience who are interested and ready to buy from you. And then you, it's really simple, you just need to work the plan. Trust me, those first four things I just shared with you, they work. Don't argue with it, don't try and um, reinvent the wheel. Like I'm sitting here before you as someone that has been using this model in my business for 10 years and successfully teaching it to others um, for at least the last five. And it, the, the plan works, there's no need to mess with the plan. The, the next place to put your attention is on you executing the plan. Executing is what makes the difference between this being an idea that you could be actioning and actually something that you're actively doing this week that's gonna bring money into your business this week. You have to work the plan. So why don't more people work the plan? Or what would stop you from working a plan like this? Well, one of the things is I've already touched on is creative avoidance. You're, you're comfortable hiding with your planning, with your um, you know mapping out your online course, with all the busy work, anything and anything, but actually getting in front of potential customers and talking to them and asking them to give you money. I get it. I get that you might have you know stuff come up and and uh, you know limiting beliefs or challenges as you execute that plan. And that's why a good proportion of what we do is we really get you focused on your actions, in fact, you start taking action from day one in this program. We get you focused on the actions that you need to take, and then we can immediately see where there's resistance, because as the resistance comes up, we can work through it. I really go by this Marion Williamson quote, who said, we can't think ourselves into a different way of acting, but we can act ourselves into a different way of thinking. So just about you know everything we do, and the answer is to take an action, is to take one step, because that's what taking step after step after step is how you generate momentum. So what else would stop you working a plan like this? Well, let's be honest. Like some of us are not all that disciplined. Some of us are easily distracted. You know, we're a bit ADHD. You know, bright shiny object, object syndrome going in different directions. And so one of the things that we've done, and this is what I think is the secret sauce, is we've created. A weekly scorecard and the weekly scorecard means there's no fuzziness it's like you took the necessary actions that you needed to take or you didn't and we use that without judgment right because if someone is um, let's say only completing 60% of what they need to do to reach their 10k months then clearly they're not going to reach 10k months they might I guess get still make 5k a month if they're only doing half of it but that gap we need to look at like what what is that gap sometimes it's a skills gap it's like some people need the skills uplift um, in order to be able to execute faster sometimes it's confidence and it's around you know the confidence around being more visible or asking for money and and that's also something that we, we, we can work on we can build confidence Sometimes um, it's, it's, you know, disorganization, it's bad time management and someone needs like help, um, you know, getting organized. Sometimes it could be more of an inner game issue. It could be, you know, do I deserve this? Am I worthy of this? There could be some element of self-sabotage going on. It really doesn't matter, <laughs> whatever it is. If we see that you should, you're aiming for 100% execution and you're only achieving 60, then we can get in there with you with that 40% and figure out, okay, what, what, what stopped you this week? Why were you at 60? Not in a judgmental way, but in a way of like, let's support you. And our accountability coach in the program, Mary, has this really wonderful saying. She says, don't hold people accountable. Accountability sounds scary. Hold people capable. And that's what we do. Like we basically love you and support you into you uh, reaching these goals consistently. And the confidence that comes when you, when, you, when you know that you are someone who keeps your word to yourself, when you know, okay, I did what I said I was gonna do today. You know, I spent the two hours that Bernadette said I should spend doing those things, and I did it, and I feel great. I feel great just because I kept my promises to me. That's, that's the type of payoff that people get early in our program, well often before they see sales, but it's a confidence that then generates momentum and this is the reason why this program is getting results for people so fast. And to give you an indication of that, um, 
a group of six people who started with me at the beginning of last month, by the time we got to the end of the month, all six of them had made at least one sale, all six. And two of them had even generated enough in sales that it paid their entire investment in the program. That's in 30 days. Now, I don't know anything else out there that gets results as fast as this. So when I say it's fast track, it absolutely is. Okay, so you need to work the plan. That means that you need to stop learning, stop collecting information. Basically, in this program, you get into action on day one. And then as you get into action, we then get immediate feedback on whether you need additional training, whether you need additional skills build, whether you need additional help with confidence, whether there's a mindset piece that needs to shift for you. That gives us instant feedback. And so we know where to work with you in order to get you, you um, into consistent action and getting your results. 